Washington, another woman went on national television this week to press her case of sexual assault by a powerful figure. But the accused was not Roy S. Moore or Harvey Weinstein or Donald J. Trump. It was Bill Clinton. I feel like people are starting to believe and realize that I was truly sexually assaulted by Bill Clinton, Juanita Broderick said on Fox News nearly two decades after first going public with her story. All victims matter. It doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or a Republican. Who cares if you're straight or you're gay, or if you believe in God or not? We all have a right to be believed. The cultural conversation about women power and sexual misconduct that has consumed the United States in recent weeks has now raised a question that is eagerly promoted by those on the political right just as it discomfits those on the political left what about Bill? While Fox News and other conservative outlets revive years-old charges against Mr. Clinton to accuse Mr. Moore's critics of hypocrisy, some liberals say it may be time to rethink their defense of the 42nd president. Matthew Iglesias a liberal blogger who once worked at the Center for American Progress, a pillar of the Clinton political world, wrote on Vox.com on Wednesday that I think we got it wrong by defending Mr. Clinton in the 1990s and that he should have resigned. Chris Hayes, the liberal MSNBC host, said on Twitter that Democrats and the center-left are overdue for a real reckoning with the allegations against him.